everybody. So today we're going to be making an easy crock pot meal. I love making crock pot dinners simply because it's just so simple and there's only the fact that you have to get the ingredients and shove it in there and let it cook. So today we're going to be making green pepper soup and I'm going to be making it the way that I make it, which is a little bit different um, because we use corn in there, we use brown sugar, and we just do things a little differently. So if you were wondering, the prep time for this is 20 minutes. It takes four hours and 20 minutes total to make, so it cooks for four hours in the crock pot. So the bulk of this meal is in the crock pot, letting it do its work and its thing. It's 243 calories, and it is a serving for six people. So before we begin on making this meal, let me just explain what you will need to begin. So you will need a minute brown rice. I just got one of this. All you're gonna need is one cup of it, but it's still nice to get a box just so you can have some for later. You're gonna have a couple cans of some things. You're gonna have two cans of diced tomatoes. You're gonna have one can of corn and one can of tomato sauce as well, and that's the 15 ounces. Then you're gonna have, I have my meat here. I still have some leftover meat, but you're gonna do, depending on how much you wanna make, one to two pounds of ground beef. Then you're gonna want brown sugar, two things of green, green bell peppers, and one onion. That's it for the ingredients. And then my suggestion to you before we dive in is when you add in your brown rice, add it at the very end, otherwise it will become mushy. So as far as what you're gonna need to make it, you're gonna need a um, cutting board so that way you can cut your um, vegetables. You're gonna need a knife to do so. As far as the measuring utensils, you're gonna want, want a, a teaspoon measure, a tablespoon measure, and one cup. You're gonna need your crock pot, obviously. You're gonna need a can opener for those cans. And this is what I will be serving with and mixing periodically. And I also, to do something to cut this uh, ground beef up, I'm going to use this to apply and bring it in. That's it. So now what we're gonna do, I'm going to cut all of the vegetables and we're gonna put it all in here, all the ingredients in here. I almost forgot one thing. Yeah, I cannot believe I almost forgot this. So you're also going to need one cup of water. So one of those cans that we're gonna be placing in here, we're gonna rinse out and place some water in there and dump it in there. And then you can use whatever spices you wanna use at the end of the day. I think I might be using oregano and parsley. You can use garlic, you can use whatever you want. Um, probably some pepper in here as well, but it's all based on preference. So I will let, that be left up to you. So now we're just gonna go right into making this. It's gonna be really fast, and I'm gonna show you how simple it really is. Let's do this. but I did put raw ground beef into my mixture. You can either brown the ground beef or you can put it in raw. That's up to you. Um, my cook time can go up more. Um, I'll just let it sit probably more than four hours to ensure that it is ready to go. And I don't know if you also noticed, but I put the ground beef in as well towards the bottom so that the heat got to it a little bit more and it can cook and brown itself. So 
This is something that you can put together really fast in the morning and let it sit throughout the day and then you come back to it and you have a dinner. And it's not just a dinner for one night, especially because it's just me and my husband. It's a dinner for multiple days. So Crock-Pot meals are wonderful. They're easy, they're cheap, and they last multiple meals. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the bell button to be alerted. I post Mondays and Thursday mornings, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. And if you have any questions or requests, put them in the comments below. I really do enjoy making Crock-Pot meals. And if you guys like this, um, I might do some more Crock-Pot meal videos in the future. So thanks guys for watching. Have a beautiful day.